Chaos has erupted over a hated Brexit agreement after a judge ruled against a decision to halt checks at Northern Ireland's ports. High Court Judge Mr Justice Colton has issued an interim order suspending the decision by Minister for Agriculture Edwin Poots to direct a stop to Brexit agri-food checks. Mr Poots, a DUP minister, on Wednesday ordered the halt to the checks which are required under the Northern Ireland Protocol. However, Mr Justice Colton has permitted applications for judicial reviews against the minister's decision. He said, there shouldn't be any confusion hanging over those in the civil service, so I am persuaded this is a case where there should be interim relief. I therefore make the order to suspend the instruction given by the Minister for Agriculture until further order of this court or completion of these proceedings. The ruling prompted unionist activist Jamie Bryson to tweet. Former SDLP election candidate, who is now a High Court judge, grants an interim, without determining the issue, injunction which keeps the Irish Sea border in place against the wishes of democratically elected unionist ministers. Serious issues for Northern Ireland. To which Brexiteer and former MP Kate Hoey replied, All I will say, is that if this had been a Sinn Féin minister being challenged it would be highly unlikely that a judge would have granted a temporary injunction against the minister. Very. Very unusual for a remedy to be issued which supports the applicant before the full hearing. DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson slammed the protocol for making it easier to trade with the Republic of Ireland than the rest of the UK. He told colleagues this promoted a united Ireland, which unionists oppose, and threatens the survival of political union with Britain. Sir Geoffrey said, if this Irish sea border is left in place. Then the divergence between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom will grow, and without a single vote cast, the protocol will have reoriented our supply chains and our economy away from our fellow UK neighbours in Great Britain. Is this democracy? He also expressed doubts about the prospect of a short-term return to a fully functioning devolved administration in the wake of Mr Given's resignation. Mr Given's exit meant Deputy First Minister Michelle O'Neill of Sinn Féin automatically lost her post. 